So far in this unit, we've explored the form and content of Emily Dickinson's poems as well as her life and legacy. So you all remember, for instance, that Emily Dickinson was a recluse, which means someone who does not leave their house very often, if at all. Well, today I want to tell you the story of the friendship of Emily Dickinson and Helen Hunt Jackson. One day, Helen Hunt Jackson, famous Civil War period poet and novelist, decided to move out to the western United States. But along the way, she became sick and broke her leg. So, when she arrived, she wrote to her dear friend Emily Dickinson, complaining about her leg and her sickness. She closes her letter to Emily Dickinson, asking for a look at long last at Emily Dickinson's small little notebooks of poetry. She wrote, I wish I knew by now what your portfolios by this time hold. So, Dickinson, loving her friend dearly and anxious to offer her some comfort, began to write a response, then another response, and then another. Dickinson was writing a third version of her letter when tragedy struck. Before two full days had passed since she received her friend Helen Hunt Jackson's letter complaining of a slight sickness and a broken leg, Dickinson, to her immense grief, read a notice of her sudden and untimely death. She was so grief-stricken that she sat down to write. This is the little desk and the little window that she must have looked out on, perhaps with tears filling her eyes as she cut open an old envelope as she'd done so many times before. These envelopes were like scrap paper. Good letter-writing paper was precious enough that these personal thoughts had to be written on scrap envelopes. On this particular day, on that particular scrap envelope, she wrote, I never saw Miss Jackson but twice, but those twice are indelible, and one day more I am deified was the only impression she ever left on any house she entered. Helen of Troy will die, but Helen of Colorado never. Dear friend, can you walk? were the last words I wrote her. Dear friend, I can fly, her immortal, soaring reply. Emily Dickinson wrote on about 52 different pieces of old envelopes, and depending on how you count them, there are between 52 and 80 poems contained on these envelopes. They come in all sizes, shapes, and colors, and they're written on a huge variety of subjects. Emily Dickinson, despite her habit of writing on scraps of paper that might have been mistaken for trash and never published, is one of America's greatest poets. There's just something about reading a tiny poem in Dickinson's own writing that you know she never intended anyone to see that feels both so secretive and personal. This has been your introduction to Emily Dickinson's Envelope Poems. <laughs>